Sometimes you may already have questions constructed in a text document that you wish to import into Moodle. The Aiken format provides you an easy way to import multiple choice questions into Moodle. First, open the document that contains your multiple choice questions. There are many different Office programs and text editors available. For this particular tutorial, we're going to concentrate on how to start in Microsoft Word and end in Moodle. Format your document in the Aiken format. The Aiken format is a very simple way of creating multiple choice questions using a clear, human readable format. The question must be all on one line. Each answer must start with a single letter character, followed by a period or a bracket, then a space. The answer line must immediately follow, starting with answer, note, space after, the semicolon, exclamation mark, and then giving the appropriate letter. Here is an example of the format. Note, the answer letters, A, B, C, etc., and the word answer must be capitalized as shown, otherwise the import will fail. Note also, the answer and the choices must use capital letters. Now save the file as a plain text file. That's a .txt in the extension. Now in Moodle, click on the Question Bank Import option. Choose Aiken format for the file format type. Choose the category in which you wish to import your questions. Choosing to get the category from the file should not be a concern because nowhere in the Aiken format file did we specify the category. This option is generally used for XML type formats. Choose how to match the grades. Since we do not specify grades in this format, either choice should not matter. Now, choose which file to import. The file picker will come up when you click to choose a file. Navigate to the .txt file on your computer and choose to upload the file. Now, we'll preview the import. A list style preview will appear after you click import. You must click continue to finish the import. If you have imported a file with a great deal of questions, you may have to scroll down the page to find the continue button. Make sure you double check your questions. Once the import is complete, you will be able to see them in the category listings within the question bank. It is a good idea to double check your questions by randomly previewing some questions to make sure the correct answers, etc., imported correctly.